Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's clean and simple card video. Today I'm going to take a rather disparate collection of dies and bring them together to make one card. So these are the dies that I'm going to use. I've got this a multi-flower die, a recent purchase from Etsy. Just thought it would be really good to have another die with flowers that are all the same shape but lots of different sizes and they can cut out lots really quickly. And I've already cut out two lots from white cardstock. And I've also kept this because I'm going to use it for a bit of stenciling. This die cuts out a Polaroid style frame and I don't know what brand this is. It was from a charity shop. It came with a little camera in it and some memory keeping type words. And I've cut two white frames with that. These are branch dies from a Amazon purchase. It was a die set with vases and branches and little flowers for kind of Japanese style flower arranging. And then this little bow, which cuts ever such a thin, delicate bow. That came from an Etsy shop too in a set of bows. So these are the die cuts that I'm going to bring together today. And my card blank is four by six inches. So I'm thinking my Polaroid frame is going to go about there. I'm going to mark very lightly, just so I can see roughly where it's going to go, because I'm going to do some stenciling with this in sponge sugar, which is a very, very pale pink. And I want the stenciling to be visible through the frame and out and around the sides of the frame. But I want it to be very, very, very subtle. Something like that. So I think that's about right. Mm. I think maybe a little bit more there. So I've got this bit here and a little bit more peeking out there as a kind of diagonal, but just a, a couple of small ones, I think. Maybe a bit more here. Yep, I think that'll do. Now I'm going to take my putty rubber and erase these pencil marks. So what I want to do with my frame is to create something of a, I guess, a, a little scene as if it's a, almost a window. And I'm thinking branches, something like that, coming in from the side there and just snip off the overhang. And I'm going to stick that on the front of my card with another frame behind it, but I'm going to cut a notch where those two branches are, just so that everything's level. Right, that looks good to me, but before I stick that on the front of my card, I want to wind some gold thread around it to give it a bit of bling and a bit of texture. So on the back, I'm going to just stick a couple of rows of tape runner and then take my gold thread, stick it here and then wind it round quite a few times just to get a nice delicate band of gold. Having the tape on the back just stops it unwinding itself. Snip off to the end. Then I'm going to take a little bit more, go onto the front, let's get past the string, string thread, that's what it's called, isn't it? Pass the thread underneath, and then I'm going to tie a knot, and this will gather that together nicely. And I can snip off the bits quite close because I'm going to use a gold cardstock bow to put a bow on this frame. One last step before I stick this to my card and that is to add a small sentiment here on my frame. This just says have courage in a nice small font. I'm using this stamping platform because it's got a grip mat in it so I can put this die cut in and it won't shift around and I don't have to worry about 
magnets or anything like that. And for my sentiment, I'm going to use saltwater taffy because it works nicely with the sponge sugar that I used, but it's a bit darker, so it's good for stamping a sentiment. I think I'll do that one more time. Now we can add some glue to the back finally and stick it on the card. I do want a little bit of glue on the back of these branches and just because I can't be bothered to find my doorbell, I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to use my T-square ruler to get this straight. And there we have that. And now to use, oh, I think I'll do the bow next, actually. So I've got this gold foiled bow. And that is just going to sit on top of the knot. And I'll hold that there for a tick just to let it adhere. And now I'm going to find all the teeny tiny flowers from here and use those on my branches. So when I've sorted that out, I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to start with the smallest flowers and have them as a kind of background layer of flowers and pop them on the end of the branches. And now for the next size up, I think. And these are the kind of foreground flowers. And I've chopped one in half, so it looks as if there's one coming in from underneath the frame. And I think maybe just another one here. And to bring a bit of the gold up, I've got a gold jelly roll pen. I'm just going to put a little dot on the flower centres as accurately as I can. So we've got some of the pinky colour up here, and some of the gold up here, and some of the gold and the pink down here. And that is it, a clean and simple Have Courage Encouragement card with a little bit of gold and a little bit of colour. And I used all sorts of dyes that weren't meant to go together, but have come together to make something unique. Right, thanks for joining me today. I hope you have gathered a few ideas of things you can do with dyes you already have in your stash. If you have, please do leave a thumbs up, let me know in the comments and I will see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching again. Bye for now.